Hey Scorps, Scorpios, welcome to my channel, Revolution. Welcome guys, I'm so happy to have you here. So Scorpio, I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you whenever you watch this. This may or may not relate with you. Okay, so uh, Scorpio, I'm going to be seeing what is it that the universe has a spell on you about okay so let's see what kind of a spell you are under by the universe what does the universe want from you all right so this is for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node so let's see when i'm sure uh, when i'm shooting this uh, there's also a full moon in scorpio that's coming up tomorrow so super excited about this so in case Others also want to watch this video, you guys can because this energy might relate with you all as well. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Let's dive into it. What is it that universe has a spell on you about? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Whenever they watch this. What spell does universe have you under right now? Wow, cards just flipped. Oh my god. Okay, I have three cards here. So the first one is lighten your load, my loves. Lighten your load. So the universe has given you some kind of a load or it is you who's trying to take on the load of the world here, Scorpio. Is it you? I mean, it's not necessary to take on all the burdens that people are throwing at you right now, okay? So universe is saying it's important that you release any form of responsibility that you have towards someone. You feel like it's a job to get it done. Okay. Get it over with. All right. Because universe is supporting you with that. Right now you might feel a little um, like you're, you're releasing any form of old grudges, negativity or someone else. If someone else is holding any grudge against you, Scorpio, I'm, I'm feeling it's getting released now. Okay. So if there's any form of healing that you have to do with another person, another situation, this is a great time to do it. It's a great time to lighten your load. I also feel like there's something that you're holding back from someone because you feel like if you let them know this, that they will judge you. Okay, they will judge your character, they will judge your morale. Right? So it's important that you um, speak to this person, whoever this is. And let them know whatever it is that you're hiding from them especially something that's eating at you okay that's what i'm getting here so let's see what else does the universe want from you confidence yes this is someone either that took away your confidence or it is you who took away someone's confidence you broke someone's confidence and you need to apologize to this person or this person you okay but I feel like this is a time when you're gaining the confidence to do that. Because universe is putting a spell on you to have the courage to do it. Yes, Scorpio. Yes. Okay. This might be a Leo that you're dealing with. Okay. But this person is extremely passionate about you. Okay. And they will not take no for an answer here. They're very adamant, very determined to be with you, to have you in their lives. Okay. This could be you, your masculine energy within you that's rising up to the occasion, rising up to the fact that you need to clear things off with another person or another person you, okay? And you have the confidence to lighten your load when it comes to this person or this person you. They will want to come and tell you something that they've been meaning to tell because they feel like they've kept the secret for too long or this is you. Okay, my loves? And this is the spell that you are under. Beautiful intriguing already all right so where is my card why do why does this always happen okay here it is all right so let's see my loves let's see what's happening with you i'm going to be using my favorite super lunaris tarot in case you guys are wondering what this this card is what's the name of this card okay super lunaris tarot it's a magical deck all right so let's see right off the bat i see judgment in reverse with the fool yes so this is something unforgivable that was done by someone to you or you did this to someone okay 
but this has to be released because universe is finally asking you to lighten the load and tell this person you know how much you were hurt by the situation or this person is going to tell you so let's see what is it that universe wants scorpio to focus on right now please tell me Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Guys, if you don't know how to see your signs, please make sure you're checking the description box below. Yeah. Please do give it a thumbs up. I will upload your video first if you do give me a thumbs up. Okay. And the more the thumbs up, the more I will be able to release your video first. Okay. So yeah, look at that. Six of Cups. This is your energy, Scorpio. This is nostalgia. This is going back to your childhood pattern. This is something that you were hurt about since your childhood or, you know, you're being nostalgic about these memories, about how your childhood went went with your mom and dad, how you were in, you know, the space when you were, you know, happy, when you were cheerful, joyful, okay? But there's a sense of not knowing how to, um, I don't know, not know how to trust your surroundings when you were a child, not know how to trust your own mom and dad, Scorpio. Yeah, this is some heavy energy that you need to lighten your load about, okay, my loves? Let's see what's coming up for Scorpio that Scorpio needs to focus on. What is it that universe wants Scorpio to focus on? Please tell me. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. This is also a childlike connection with a Leo that you have, a childhood sweetheart, a college sweetheart, okay, that you had dated from way back, right? This is you being nostalgic about that connection. Yes, Seven of Swords, exactly. I feel like someone was, was deceptive with you, especially someone who you know from your childhood. This could be your parents. This could be your siblings. This could be very close people, okay, to you who you really, really trusted at that point because you were vulnerable to trust them, right? And nine of cups in reverse. This person was especially emotionally dependent on you, co-dependent on you. Like they, um, they depended on you for emotional fulfillment, emotional comfort, okay? But they also lied to you. So this made you extremely uncomfortable emotionally since your childhood, my loves. Tell me about the present, please, for Scorpio. What is Scorpio dealing with? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Oh my God, Scorpio, Ace of Cups. This is your wish fulfillment. This is the best form of love that you can have in this lifetime. That is being offered to you right now. There's someone who has a lot of love for you. Okay, universe is granting you this ace of cups. Look at this, how beautiful, right? Wow. So, yeah, Scorpio, this past, this whole past childhood dynamics, this is definitely going to harm your present situation. If you're not, if there's no confidence, okay, because maybe in your childhood, your we have to go there, Scorpio. Maybe your mother cheated on your dad, your dad cheated on your mom. Okay, there is some form of trauma you have regarding your childhood, okay, where someone cheated or lied to someone, someone broke someone's trust here, which led to a lot of emotional turmoil in your life in the past. Now there's a new love that, that the universe is giving you and the universe is saying you need to have the confidence to go for it, okay. You need to have the confidence. This is someone who really loves you, who cares for you, okay, who thinks you are you are like you complete them okay that's what this person feels towards you now there's a wheel of fortune here the wheel of fortune is turning okay the wheel of karma is turning this could also be someone from the past that is coming back in your life with the wheel of fortune this could be a very very fated situation a very karmic situation but also a very fated situation this is blessings from the divine coming to you okay this could be a sagittarius this could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or an, uh, a Libra. Now we see Five of Cups in reverse. Beautiful, Scorpio. You're finally gaining the courage to flush out any form of toxicity, toxic emotions that you're holding on to within your 
self okay because when you release that is when you can attract someone who has also done the work who has healed themselves completely especially from their past from their childhood okay this could be a relationship with someone who you have known from your childhood but you're finally releasing the resentment and you're finally getting back after a period of maybe ghosting them or you know but this is someone completely new okay there's a new person also that is interested is what i mean there's an old person and a new person so whoever you choose i feel like the new option is the best one because this person is going to lead to your healing here this person being with this person is going to lead you back to your childlike emotions and your childlike happiness yeah scorpio and i think you're looking for that now you're looking for that person who can make you feel innocent again okay it's like you want to feel innocent again and that healing is occurring through this other person okay who is very giddy with you who makes you laugh okay who's very much fun to be around right so give me one more card for where is this heading for scorpio beautiful universe is it's like universe made you go through those things in order for you to know exactly who you are scorpio okay because you are the sign of intense self acknowledgement self knowledge you are self absorbed okay so this energy is healing your heart my loves three of swords in reverse yes any form of heartbreak pain suffering that you have gone through in the past is being released with this wheel of fortune times are changing you are on top of the wheel of fortune right now make sure you gain the advantage of this time okay this is a very fruitful time for you guys especially regarding love okay or anything that is emotionally fulfilling to you you need to go towards where your heart is leading you right now okay there's someone who really loves you scorpio okay this could also be a cancer or a gemini gemini libra is also what i'm getting or you might be a scorpio libra cusper all right with strong leo okay strong leo also capricorn beautiful my loves beautiful yeah six of wands in reverse devil in reverse beautiful beautiful so you're taking the lead here okay regarding you know i feel like there had become a phase in your relationship scorpio where um you would be okay with negative attention on you be it through fighting through drama it it kind of gave you a sense of kick but now it's like when you attracted the same sort of person in your life who had a control over you who was very um who was like your puppet master in a way trying to control you you kind of realized that instantly and you were like oh my god really you're going to play this game with me well i'm the master of the game in fact i am the game that's what you that's how you turned around this person's um demeanor towards you okay because they did something that was unforgivable that's also what i'm getting unforgivable yeah but you with this ace of cups i cannot tell you enough guys the new love you have to go for this person this person is already they're already fantasizing about you is what i'm getting they're already thinking of ways to coach you okay but you cannot let your past ruin this connection by being distrustful towards this new person okay because the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor trust me times are changing you might feel the ups and downs of the time because of the times changing so instantly but that's how you are supposed to go for it okay that's how you're supposed to roll with the punches that the universe throws at you because it wants you to lighten your load now finally get rid of those old stagnant emotions all right so let's see my loves let's get a shaman's dream oracle advice for you my scorpio my beautiful intense deep passionate water signs let's see all right so we give it one shuffle here second all right so let's get an advice for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node pertaining to the spread please let's get an advice
Wow. Look at that. Feast of Plenty. With the number 20. Right, Scorpio? Look at this image. What is it that you are getting? I'm getting that... You have been through situations that have completely crystallized your being, okay? Since your childhood, it's like you got crystallized in being hurt, being traumatized, okay? It was something that was constant, okay? I see your parents having fights while cooking or I don't know, it, it just traumatized your sense of appreciating the opposite sex, okay? But rather you always look at it as a as a way to kind of as a way to take control that's what i'm getting here okay i feel like there was one parent who was overly giving overly sacrificing while while the other parent abused it or took advantage of it and so your uh, your lens on love is a little bit tainted Scorpio because of that and now is the time to lighten your load about that and release that okay so any form of choice that you have taken you know you have had to face the consequences of those choices I also feel like the other person who um, has done you wrong this person you are making sure that they face the consequences for what they have done okay and sometimes you take on too much of that role Scorpio where you need to get a retribution on someone for that okay so universe is trying to heal that side of you now okay beautiful perfect storm this is you scorpio oh my god it says the courage to step into life yes so through these pain through the through this level of pain that you have been through from your childhood of watching other people betray you know Others, it's like you have finally developed a mastery over these things. A mastery over exactly um, pinpointing how the other person can affect you, okay? You know exactly the weaknesses of others while you know your own weaknesses. So, this is how you heal the collective. This is why you are born here, Scorpio, okay? You have a mastery over those things. So, let's see uh, what is the advice for you pertaining to this spread. Feast of Plenty. All right. Also something regarding vegetables, carrots, okay? If you... I don't know why I'm seeing carrots, but uh, you should eat carrots right now. It's, it's very good for you, okay? That's what the universe is saying. So this says about options, choices and their consequences and life's blessings, okay? A great feast is laid out before you and requires you to choose what will satisfy your hunger. Something new and unconventional with its potential for bitter or savory qualities or something you already know you love. Wow. Okay, so there's a choice given to you, Scorpio, between two people. There's also two people who are wanting to say the truth to you. Okay, so you need to choose. You are faced with a plethora of options right now. And while that may seem to be an extraordinary thing, too many choices can throw you off balance. You might be worried that once you commit, you won't be able to turn back or refuse to confront the consequences of that decision. The most important thing to realize is that the feast is offering you experience. No amount of overanalyzing or strategizing will help you make the right choice now. Don't debate the right or wrongness. Instead, just choose. In the choosing is the seed of experience and that is what is necessary now. Sour, bitter, sweet, savory. What matters is relishing the experience until you digest all that your choice is offering you right now. Okay? Only one warning though. Avoid the same choice if it keeps you hungry. If something didn't feel good or does not bring you what it seemingly promised, do not choose that again. The experience will only repeat itself and you will have more than a bad taste in your mouth. The feast is yours to enjoy. You can always go back for more when you are hungry again. For life's blessings are ever available to you and calling your name. So please make sure you guys check out the Scorpio full moon video as well, which I will be uploading uh, on 26th of April. Please check it out as this that message will also relate with this. Okay. 
so yes i feel like of course this has given you a whole uh, the whole deal of choosing a situation that is only benefiting you with this ace of cups choosing something that is emotionally fulfilling to you okay not something what which has already given you some form of pain in the past choosing to go with the new thing that fills your heart with joy what is it scorpio what is it going to what is it that you're going to choose because there is a lot of options a lot of confusion with those options right feast of plenty and there's someone who is really really fond of you and wants to give you some form of sexual healing by coming into your life that is also what i'm getting so please do not miss this opportunity and make the best use of this time that you're watching this right now okay my love so this was an intense reading as usual scorpio you guys are always um on top with that intensity right so yes i'm going to all right so i'm going to wrap up the reading so thank you so much scorpio and i hope you enjoyed the reading make sure you do comment and let me know if you're dealing with someone like this and please make sure that you're sharing it with your friends and family as well take care peace